What is truth? Did you notice in the reading tonight, if you've been Lutherans for most of your life or even Catholics, you've heard this story every, son- every Good Friday. This has been the known Good Friday reading for very long time. You've heard this story over and over again. But did you hear it tonight? Pilate asked Jesus, what is truth? And like most of us being impatient, didn't wait for an answer. you notice that? Pilate turned to Jesus after Jesus had said, those who listen to my voice followed after truth. Pilate asked him, what is truth? He turned around and left him and went out to the portico to the people. So what is truth? There's truth throughout all of this story. If we watch and we listen and we, we want to hear it, There's truth in who is actually on trial this night. Is it Jesus? Is it Pilate? Is it Caiaphas? Is it you? In John's rendition of the story, Peter is asked three times. We have this running along in the first couple readings here. Peter is asked three times a different question than he's asked in the other gospel. Had this been Matthew's version of the story, since this is the year of Matthew, we would have heard, you also know this man, don't you? And Peter would have said, no, I don't know him. John points it just a little bit more. Every time Peter is asked in the Gospel of John, it's, and you also were one of his disciples, weren't you? Are you a disciple of Jesus? Here is the ultimate truth to this whole story that none of us hear. In the very beginning in a garden, which mimics creation, right? In the beginning, God created the garden. And in the garden, in the Gospel of John, Jesus is arrested, tried, crucified, and buried all in a garden the soldiers come to him and they ask Jesus actually asks not the soldiers normally the police are the ones that want to know where the person they're arresting is but at that moment Jesus steps forward and says whom are you looking for it's the very first question Jesus asked to, asked to the disciples of John that came after him in John chapter 1, verse 18. He turned around and looked at these disciples who were following after him and he said, What are you looking for? The very first question Jesus asked in the Gospel of John and the very last question that he asked before he's arrested and put on tri- trial are basically the same. He's asking people what they're looking for. So if Jesus were to ask you, what are you looking for? What would your answer be? What are we looking for? What do we want? And more importantly, what do we need? We need a man who answers the question the way that he answered it. 
He asked the, the police who came, the temple guards and the Roman centurions, whom are you looking for? And they answered him, Jesus of Nazareth. And he replied, Ego eimi. Not I am he. Jesus said to them, I am. Which is the name of God that God gave to Moses. When Moses asked, if they ask who sent me, who should I say? And God said to Moses, said, I am sent me. The reason the guards fell back and fell on their faces is because they knew that he said that he was God. And he could have ended it all right there. But he knew what we needed. Do we know what we need? And would we actually be able to make it through the trial that he went through? Because we would have been just like Peter and given up on love. But thanks be to God that he did not give up on love. Because these three remain, faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love as he stretched out his arms and poured out his blood for each and every one of us. To give us a faith and an undying hope which can be seen through him working in and out of our lives. So cling to that man who could have ended it when the guards came to arrest him, but followed through on the plan to give us a life that none of us had ever expected.